This is a book review of the Marvel Comic Annual from 1969-1970. It's always very hard to define exactly the year. And this is featuring the Marvel superheroes, the Hulk, Captain America, Submariner, Thor, Spider-Man and Iron Man. Now you can see, see, not the best of conditions. And you've got the Comic Annual there and there's the back cover. Now I love these old annuals. There's a couple of these world distributor annuals, authorised editions, trademark, etc. And I'm just going to quickly open it up there. So you can see that, uh, there, and there's the contents. So you can see the contents there. Weirdly, you've got a picture of Captain Marvel there. Uh, he doesn't feature in the book, which is pretty strange. Why put him in the inside page? You've got the Cargo Death, Cobra, Mr. Hyde, a Gladiator from Outer Space, the Goblin. So you've got quite a few stories. Goblin and the Gangsters, Wings on his feet, Iron Man faces Hawkeye, the Hulk triumphant, on a mission of vengeance. Now this was a UK annual. So this is really, for me, would have been the first exposure to Atlas comics, because this is the weird thing. You've actually got an Atlas comic here. This is a Captain America comic from the 1950s, a John Romita. Quality-wise, absolutely fine. -y. And you can see this annual is now 50 years old, still in pretty decent condition. You can see the spine there, just drag it up there, go the right way. So you can see it's reasonable considering it's been uh, looked at and cherished over the years. But you've got this great story there with the Captain America. And I love those old Atlas stories. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stories. Of course, now you can get them in much nicer condition. You can get them in the Marvel Masterworks Atlas series and obviously also on the Marvel Unlimited. Also, one thing I love about these annuals, and this is, again, really quite sharp quality as well of the artwork. You actually look at this. Now the colour's slightly, slightly offset. It's not perfect, brilliant colour, but the black is really quite sharp in this one. This is obviously the Mr. Hyde and the Cobra. Love that story. Main criticism of this, however, it just finishes. You can see, you see the blockbusting conclusion right here in Marvel Tales. They didn't even bother taking out the bit, the blurb at the end to say there's a conclusion. Marvel Tales. Okay. You've also got Stanley and Jack Kirby there, Gladiator from Outer Space. And that was a good little story. The Mongo, sort of a, you know, a, a monster story, leftover monster story, well, more communist story from the 50s. Goblin and the Gangsters, obviously that's a real good old Spider-Man Ditko story. Again, really nice quality. Now, of course, the, the colours are a bit muted. It's not, it's when you look at these sort of annuals, you look at them and think, I compare it with the uh, omnibus editions that we have now. And you look at it and think, hmm. However, lots of people love this. Perfectly reasonable. You like the old style colours, more muted, not so in your face kind of colours. I, I have no problem with either. Now, another story that's really odd Submariner. You've got a lovely old Submariner here. Again, lovely Bill Everett. Of course, I wouldn't have known at the time when this first came out who Bill Everett was. I don't know even if it just says F637 as the job code. However, oh, brilliant story. Also, you've got Hawkeye, the marksman. Of course, the first Hawkeye story there with Black Widow. Great tale. And then you've got another weirdly Hulk story there on the early ones. And then into Submariner, which is not, of course, an up-to-date Submariner. It was, again, another Atlas one. So you've got this weird inventor slash scientist. So, but I just love those old stories. This is just a great story, and it's really, really quite nice. Reproduction is really sharp. Just great. And that's that. And then there's the back again. Captain Marvel. I wonder if they thought, when they brought this out, before they brought it out, that Captain Marvel was going to be in it, and then they didn't. Because, likewise, Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange. Were there, was there plans to have maybe different stories in this? Because it just seems to be... 
I love this. Someone put a comment. <laughs> My God. Obviously, kids' humour at the time. However, what I love this this annual Marvel comic annual. It's absolutely brilliant. So uh, worth checking out. I think uh, you, if you can find a copy, I think there should be many on the first auction sites, etc. Should be able to find these. So totally excellent.